Muscle contraction is the process by which the muscle fiber develops tension. A muscle doesn't always shorten when it contracts, but when it does, it moves the joint it crosses. The myofilaments of the sarcomere do not become any shorter during contraction. What happens is the thin filaments slide over the thick ones and pull the boundaries of the sarcomere toward the middle. This causes the sarcomere itself to get shorter. For this reason, the mechanism of contraction is called the sliding filament theory, and it occurs in a series of steps. First off, the myosin head must have an ATP molecule bound to it to initiate contraction. The enzyme myosin ATPase hydrolyzes this ATP into ADP and phosphate. The energy released by this process activates the head, which cocks into an extended high energy position. Next, the cocked myosin head binds to an exposed active site on the thin filament. This forms what is referred to as a cross bridge between the myosin and the actin. Then myosin releases the ADP and phosphate and flexes into a bent low energy position, pulling the thin filament with it. We call this the power stroke. The binding of a new ATP molecule to myosin breaks the myosin-actin bond, dismantling the cross bridge. This ATP lets the myosin head recock into the high energy position again, and the whole process repeats further down the thin filament. The thin filaments are pulled toward the middle of the sarcomere as the degree of overlap between the filaments increases. It's as if you were pulling two ladders toward each other by grabbing and tugging one rung after the other on each ladder at the same time.